My name is Emily Sargent and I'm the Senior Curator of Temporary Exhibitions here at Welcome Collection and I'm the Curator of the Living with Buildings exhibition. So Living with Buildings explores the relationship between health and architecture, both how architecture affects health but in turn how concerns around health have shaped the built environment which surrounds us. It also includes a brand new commission for a building for the charity Doctors of the World which gives them a space, a flexible, robust, easy to construct building that they can use in their work across the world. So at the moment when we're responding to a crisis we often use a tent so we could be working in extreme cold with snow or we could be working in sub-Saharan Africa with extreme heat and there's nothing that we can do with a tent to protect patients and the people working inside the, the clinic from those extremities and also it doesn't offer the private and dignified space that we expect our, our patients to experience and this clinic perfectly addresses all of that. The soundproof environment was one of the primary focuses of the project, working closely with the architects but especially the engineers to ensure that people have this uh, dignified, private, clean space. What we've developed is, is, is an engineering structure that can be made out of small pieces of material that can be cut on a computer controlled fabrication machinery locally to where the site of deployment is and the only thing that needs to be sent to that site is, is an email of the machine code to the local fabricator. So really reducing um, logistics costs using local materials and local fabrication uh, with the local infrastructure but also allowing us to tailor the design each time based on where it's going. I think what we ended up doing was developing a process that could go globally and respond to functional climate and environment wherever it goes, uh, utilising I think as much local material as we possibly could, creating an area where people can be consulted, educated, but it's also sort of like a, a little hub, a little a social hub as well. At Welcome Collection we're really interested in subjects which explore health and its wider connections in culture and society. We're interested in drawing out lots of different ways of experiencing health and the relationship between health and architecture is one that affects us all, not just in the urban environments of the UK but across the globe. I think what this project brings to the exhibition is that wider scope. How can architecture interact with healthcare, improve provision to healthcare across the world in a number of different territories?